Hi, my name is Sophia and I'm here today to tell you about our organisation called Help You Rescue. So what is Help You Rescue? Um, Help You Rescue is a promotional organisation. Um, it's there to help fundraise for all the animal shelters in the UK. Um, and it's there as well for fun for the animals and people. How will we fundraise? Um, we'll be fundraising by hosting an animal Olympic event for all rescue centres in the UK. This will include various different games, um, which animals will be participating in. Uh, you will have to pay to watch the games, a five pound entry. Um, that will go towards the overall funds for the rescue centres. Uh, there will be buckets um, at each event, so when we go to different events, you can all donate into the buckets. Um, also, uh, the overall winners of the Olympic Games will be getting a cash prize. There will also be runner-up prizes, and everyone will get some money from the event. The amount will depend on how much is made, so the amount of money we make all together will be split um, so that each rescue centre will get an equal amount. Um, the costs. Um, the rescue centre will be paying us um, a small sum for the equipment lending because we will need um, to buy equipment. Um, but hopefully they will get a lot more than that back after the event. Uh, the donations will be halved between the rescue centres and us. Um, we will need to buy some of our equipment before we can do the activities. Um, some equipment we will need to buy. Um, an A-frame, this is in agility. Uh, dog walk, dog will go up and down this as one of the tricks. And we will be uh, actually training the animals that will be in the events um, so that we can decide if they are fit enough to do the event. Um, if they are shy animals, obviously we'll be using those animals so we can decide which animals and then we can train them for the event and all different rescue centres will be up against each other. So uh, one member of staff will go to each animal centre to choose um, an animal to train. Um, some examples of the activities for the day. Um, there's Dancing Parrot, that is um, an activity where the, we'll have a few parrots um, that like to dance to music and we'll put a song on and see which parrot um, dances the best to the music. Another one, Dog Agility, um, so that would be having different dogs going around an agility course, so you can do it the best and the fastest. Um, the Hungry Pig, that is where um, we'll have a line of pigs, and when it's their tea time, they will have their tea and see who can finish um, their food first. Whoever finishes first is the winner. Uh, a rat maze, to see which rat can get from the start to the finish of the maze first. Um, Sniffer Dog, which is where we'll have a few treats around and whichever dog finds a treat first will win that one. Uh, and the best animal hairdresser is just a little side thing um, that we can do during the Olympics, um, which is where we'll have a row of horses and you, your, you yourselves can actually get involved with um, dressing the horse's manes in bows, plaiting them, and we can see who has the best decorated mane at the end of the event to see who wins. Um, what makes this great? Uh, this helps animals to get adopted and rehomed, um, which is the main reason. Uh, it's also uh, very profitable um, for the animals. Um, we'll be gaining a lot of donations from this, hopefully. 
um, these events will help the rescue centres um, by getting rewarded with the donations. Um, this will help towards the animals' needs and hopefully um, bring more people to the animal centre to get more animals home. How will we start this off? Because obviously we will have no money and um, we'll need that for the equipment to start off with. Uh, we can do things like cake sales, car boot sales, um, donations, uh, dog walks, car washes, grooming, and we can make hand handmade habitats for people to buy. How to make sure animals are enjoying the day too, because obviously that's very important as the only reason we're there is for the animals, so obviously we want them to be happy too. Um, we will choose specific animals as um, we don't want uh, an animal which will become very stressed by the event. Um, so we will choose one that is relaxed with publicity and things like that. Uh, one that uh, the rescue centre thinks could potentially win for them. Um, um, we are trained so we know what we're doing and so any animals which are in any sort of discomfort or don't like the event we can take them away or if something happens we can help out and make sure that it's all fixed. Um, the animals will always come first no matter what um, even if it means cancelling the event. Um, if we need to do so unfortunately we will have to do so because the animals will always come first. Um, and the events won't last too long, so they won't be there the whole day, getting stressed out and needing to drink water and eat their food, as some animals do need to do that on a regular basis. Um, <clears throat> Thank you all for listening and to my team members for putting together and setting up this programme with me. Um, so thank you to Amber, Agda, uh, Danielle Parkins, the case guest, Demi Sutton, and Bethany Steele. Thank you.